Ladies and gentlemen, we are broadcasting worldwide on this Friday, the 13th transmission. Dr. Andrew Wakefield, Andy Wakefield, will be joining us. He is the medical doctor from England who now lives in Austin, Texas, uh, who is suing uh, the journalist author of the so-called medical report debunking his study. They used that hoax report to then put out another larger hoax that the only piece of evidence showing vaccines was dangerous had been overturned and fraudulently created. Just last week, the court in England uh, returned the medical uh, degree and good standing to his co-author, and he is set uh, very soon to have hearings and is set to be uh, exonerated as well. So just remember that. British court throws out conviction of autism vaccine MD. Andrew Wakefield's co-author completely exonerated. That's from the Autism Action Network. It links through to the British reports. They do not want you knowing this because they're a bunch of liars just like Brian Williams. By the way, Brian Williams is in more trouble now for saying that he, he was most... You know, honored to report on the fall of the Berlin Wall and to see it fall. And it turns out he didn't get there till the day after. The Berlin Wall was falling for weeks. I'm not defending Brian Williams. He's a horrible anti-gun globalist teleprompter reading liar. But saying I was there when the Berlin Wall fell, I mean, he was there when the Berlin Wall fell. If you're there when it's falling down the next day, being being taken down, that was ongoing for weeks, then yes, maybe a fish story, maybe you caught a 10-pound fish, you said it was a 15-pound fish, whatever. Lying and saying there are no death panels in Obamacare. Lying and saying you can keep your doctor. Lying and saying they wouldn't come after our guns. Lying and saying there's no amnesty in the new amnesty legislation. That's the type of stuff that people should be really angry about. But hey, if it discredits dinosaur media that's always trying to attack any type of independent media, great. Great. Of course, the guy is a congenital liar. He wasn't there with dead bodies floating past at his hotel in Katrina. He, he wasn't in the helicopter shot down. He wasn't near it. On and on and on. And yes, he wasn't there at the Brandenburg Gate right when the first pieces fell. So I guess he's a liar on that count as well. But it doesn't matter in the aggregate compared to the big lies of the private run-for-profit Federal Reserve that tells Congress it's above the law. And all these Republican and Democratic senators coming out saying, don't meddle in it, you know, stop Rand Paul. Let me tell you, Rand Paul is a hero. He's not perfect, but compared to the globalist, he is an angel. I mean, he's barely defeated the gun-grabbing bills with Ted Cruz. Barely. Defeated a whole bunch of garbage, and now he's in there trying to get the audit the Fed bill passed. I just see such vitriol by the trolls criticizing Rand Paul online. And that's because it's, it's paid for to get the ball rolling, and then other people join in on it. It's a snowball effect. They try to create a, a, a megaphone effect, a amplification effect. And I just bring that up as a side issue uh, because it's just, he just he's exposing that our government funded Al-Qaeda and ISIS right now, and that Hillary's involved. Nobody else is doing that. In fact, Rand Paul is even better than Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz's wife, I know, worked for Goldman Sachs. So does anybody else, basically, that is successful in banking. And she resigned from the Council on Foreign Relations. I don't care what organization they were in. I care about their voting records. I mean, Saul of Tarsus was the biggest persecutor of Christians. He became the greatest leader of Christians after Christ. So I don't care. I mean, as long as Darth Vader throws the emperor down the mine shaft, uh, as an allegory, I, I don't care if he was Darth Vader five minutes before. Because now he's going back to be an Anakin Skywalker. We've got to give everybody that chance. Stay with us. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy. Until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's TogetherSave.com. TogetherSave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. TogetherSave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at TogetherSave.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. 
Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even those sold by big name companies, has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you you're defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it, and that means your home stays safe. 24/7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home Security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost. Protect your home with the alarm you can trust. Simply Safe. Go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10% offer. That's simplysafedefense.com. Friends, this is Alex Jones for MidasResources.com. For more than 15 years, I have exclusively used Midas Resources for all my precious metal needs. Whether it's bullion or collectibles you're looking for, Midas Resources is simply the best. I own my gold as a hedge against inflation. This Federal Reserve fiat currency could go the way of the Deutschmark and the Weimar Republic anytime. In these historically dangerous times, it makes sense to physically hold gold and silver. Midas already has some of the best deals in the industry. But if you give them a call and mention the radio special, they will give you a list of the day's super specials. Midas brokers are standing by to answer all your questions at 800-686-2237. They also have a lot of informative free literature explaining the opportunities and risk of holding precious metals. They are ready to answer your questions at 800-686-2237. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Hey, sorry I'm running late. I had to stop and get my vitamins for the month. I got mine in the mail yesterday from DiscountNutritionShop.com. So I'm here, totally on time. <laughs> DiscountNutritionShop.com? Yep, they're a lifesaver in more ways than one. They have all the nutritional supplements you need, the major brands you know. Plus, you can save up to 10%. Write down this number, 888-908-4548. Huh? 888-908-4548. Or just go to DiscountNutritionShop.com. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce Customer Relationship Software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers. From sales to marketing to service and support, all of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E dot com. Snapforce.com. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. We're here live, back weeknight, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Well, uh, they had an investigator who said that they were threatening to kill him, and about an hour before he was set to testify to their legislature, he was shot in the head. And now the president of Argentina, Fernandez, has been charged in probe of alleged cover-up. Wow, a conspiracy that they might actually kill an investigator from the government who had proof that she was connected to communist bombings decades before. And other activities, like Obama and his connection to the weathermen, who come on this show and say they're not communist and that they don't want violence. I mean, a load of horse crap. And I'm sorry to talk like that, but that is what it is. A rose is still a rose by any other name, and baloney is still Bravo Sierra by any other name. Stocks have hit a new record high. That's in the Associated Press. Reach record rebounding oil lifts energy stocks. Stocks, this is just all volatility manipulating, riding it up and down. Stocks rose to record levels on Friday as the price of oil jumped again, giving it a lift to energy stocks. The slight gain for the market was enough to push the Standard & Poor's 500 index to a record 
interday high of the Dow Jones Industrial Average back above 18,000. Those headlines are from DrudgeReport.com. Uh, let me um, go over a few of the headlines that are up at Infowars.com right now for you. ISIS captures city where Marines are training Iraqi troops after Obama submits war authorization. That's a Kurt Nemo report. Uh, our war correspondent, Joe Biggs, has contacts in the Army and the Marines, and he is on the phone right now with them confirming uh, what AP and Reuters and others are reporting, that 300 Marines may be trapped right as Obama tries to get his war authorization. Notice how ISIS hits perfectly right when Obama needs them to, to get this blanket war authorization, which will be used on Syria, al-Qaeda's enemy. In fact, they've already said, we want to carve out an area, remove these groups, then put good Syrian rebels in to take over Syria. And that's all this is, is a U.S. force sent there to mop up some of the disparate ISIS groups, because there's always infighting, that aren't following orders exactly correctly of NATO and others. And then they'll mop up some of those guys for television, you know, have some images of them being flown around on C-130s to torture bases. They'll be trained on how to be better operatives and released in five, ten years to start the next war. That's what Camp X-Ray is. I said it a decade ago. Camp X-Ray at Gitmo is an Al-Qaeda training command base. We knew. I mean, it came out in the news, mainstream news, that an entire area inside the base was CIA run where they would basically get people to join them, train them, break them, test new mind control drugs, test new mind control chips. Uh, I mean, this, this came out in the news. That it was super Buck Rogers, high-tech stuff, right down to PCP, LSD, and flying in top hookers to, it was really because the CIA just wanted to have them around. I'm not kidding. You can pull this up. Hookers in to dress up with Satan mask on and to rape the detainees with blood. Now, I'm not trying to be gross here. It was like an NBC News, ABC News. In fact, that's so outrageous. Guys, Google search it. It'll be something like uh, Gitmo detainees sexually abused, prostitutes. Gitmo prostitutes flown in. I think London Guardian had it too. I mean, that was like eight, nine years ago that came out. And I'm already digressing. It's just the, a re-education camp is where you find people that, and break them down who you know that will then serve you and follow orders. And that's why almost every commander... In ISIS right now is a Gitmo graduate. You know, some people go to Harvard, they go to University of Texas, you go to Cambridge. No, no, they go to Gitmo. Sex used to break Muslim prisoners, book says. Women allegedly wore thongs. And it goes on. That's a whitewash. That's Associated Press. Female interrogators tried to break Muslim detainees in the U.S. prison camp in Gitmo Bay by sexually touching, wearing mini skirts and thong underwear, in one case smearing Saudi man's face with fake menstrual blood, according to an insider's written account. That's a whitewash. See, by the time it hits NBC News or AP, it's a total whitewash. Read the Army's report uh, from Abu Ghraib. Read, j just search, uh, Army Report on Prisoner Abuse, Abu Ghraib. General Tagumbu filed the report. Three-star U.S. general, and I can't even say on air what they did in the report. But it involves small children, and it involves acid, and it involves large objects. And I don't care uh, who you are out there. You cannot accept raping five-year-old children. I mean, it just is, it's pure evil, and they're trying to bring America's uh, name down. We're ISIS on the doorstep. Fighters reportedly seize Iraqi town near base holding U.S. Marines. Fox News, Gateway Pundit, ISIS seizes Iraq City, attacks Al-Assad base with 300 Marines inside, eight suicide bombers killed inside base. I mean, this is just all-out Al-Qaeda attack. Now, look at the photos here. They're all waving Al-Qaeda flags, and our media keeps acting like ISIS is uh, different than the Syrian Free Army and Al-Qaeda. I mean, it's just a total joke if it wasn't so serious. And again, it's a real war. They'll kill Marines. They'll kill Army soldiers. They'll kill sailors. So it's a real war that people like Chris Kyle over there fighting. But at the end of the day, the globalists are behind the whole thing, orchestrating it.
<sighs> We're going to continue to investigate this. Kurt Nemo has a boil down of it with video at Infowars.com. ISIS captures city where Marines are training Iraqi troops after Obama submits war authorization. Al-Baghdadi is the town. What is that like? The Baghdad? The little Baghdad? Taken by ISIS. And then look at this article. This is so incredible. I remember watching this at the time. Just as a neutral person, knowing George Soros was behind and bragged about it, the uh, $5 billion State Department to overthrow Ukraine, put it in an unelected government. They call that a dictatorship. Uh, junta. And I remember seeing uh, clearly in the videos that were even being put out on their state-run TV that it was snipers from the West and 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 pro-Western Ukraine shooting at the elected government police and killing them. So the police would then shoot back and they could say there was a police massacre. Well, now RT reports, and I don't just believe RT, they have a link to BBC interviewing one of the leaders, admitting that they were there sniping the police and started it. So they're just so arrogant. BBC airs fighter admitting he fired on police before Kiev massacre. The BBC has aired footage of an opposition fighter who says he fired at police. I remember watching the footage. I mean, the media was saying that they were protesters shooting at the police. It wasn't, wasn't denied. Okay, that's just some of the news uh, on that front. Let me get into the really serious news here that's coming up. I'm going to cover this in the third hour, so it'll take some time. North Carolina killer, a fan of the Southern Poverty Law Center. I noticed the Tea Party and people that don't want totally open borders the last few days uh, were being blamed for these three Muslims that were shot uh, in Florida. And then I noticed it went off the news, and I thought, what's going on? Well, the crew pointed out to me, and the Weekly Standard has it, and a bunch of other publications, World Net Daily has it. And Joseph Ferris says, why aren't you hearing about Why aren't you hearing about this? It was in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Well, we're not hearing about it. There was another event in Florida. Because Craig Hicks, the suspect, charged the murders as an atheist and a fan of the Southern Poverty Law Center. And likes MSNBC host Rachel Maddow. The science guy, Bill Nye, same-sex marriage groups, and the Freedom From Religion Foundation. So he's immune because he's liberal. Three Muslim students murdered near University of North Carolina. Corporate media accused of glossing over story. That's a Don's report about the World Net Daily report. And they had another case that we'll talk about. Remember the guy that went in and shot up the Family Research Council? And he said he did it for the Southern Poverty Law Center. This is a group that within an hour or less of uh, Richard Poplowski in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, six years ago, shooting and killing three police officers, they were blaming me, saying he did it for me. We're going to play the Corkins video uh, when he's you know, talking to the FBI agents uh, admitting that he did it because of what he learned from the Southern Poverty Law Center when he shot up the Family Research Council. But the reason I'm getting back into this is within an hour, they had it on the Pittsburgh front page newspaper. They were announcing it on national news. And imagine, he's barely at the police station, and I'm being blamed. They're running into his computer claiming, oh, he visited Infowars.com. Well, we just went to his social media websites and found him saying that I work for Israel and that I need to be taken out and that he's going to dedicate his life to stopping me. And he was all on the Stormfront website and everywhere else. But the Southern Poverty Law Center and the ADL, within an hour, had their people inside the police department leaking it, trying to connect it to me. Uh, again, folks, they're after us, is what I'm saying. And they're after anybody that doesn't want to just sell the country completely down the river to corruption. And that's happened a bunch where they get on the news and they say, Alex Jones wants cops dead. This is a meme they put out because they know I'm saying we don't want civil war. We don't want to protest tyranny violently when we don't want to go out, if it ever goes to violence, and randomly shoot cops or military that will drive the police and military into the arms of the globalist. 
Plus, it doesn't hurt the globalists. They hate the police and the military. Look at their internal training. They're totally worried about the military and police. They're worried about anybody that's got force and that is in the inside. Tyrannies always keep police and military on a very short, abusive, tyrannical leash. So natural allies of the police and military, it's like if you go to a party and you act like you don't like anybody and you sit in the corner mad and you think everybody hates you. What's the Doors uh, line about uh, women seem wicked when you're unwanted? It's all how we reach out to people. And, and they want us all isolated, and they want a divide-and-conquer scenario in this country. And, and I know I say that all the time because it's so simple. But you go to a party, and you're out going, telling jokes, having a great time. Everybody's going to be over there talking to you. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Streets are uneven when you're down. When you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. And see, that's why they, 30 years ago, infiltrated the proto-modern militia movement that's totally constitutional, absolutely uh, you know, part of our system and wonderful, with feds and globalists to make everybody hide in the woods, think the cops are coming to kill them, freaking out, so they could project an image of a bunch of crazies hiding out in the bushes to then put that in movies and TV shows to then create the perception that anyone owning guns uh, wants to kill all the police. So the police would then start alerting on them like a hunting dog that's been trained to go after rabbits. Well, if you look like a rabbit and a dog's trained to take down rabbits, it's going to come after you. It's like MTV in the whole culture teaches the kids how to wear their pants hanging down around their legs, uh, prison style, prison punk style, and to wear certain outfits and things. On record, while they train the police to alert on it that that's guns, drugs, uh, illegal activity, you're putting on a uniform, an enemy uniform, and then squaring off against people that have been trained to attack you. And everyone just follows the roles through the hype like idiots. The police go along with it. The gangbangers go along with it. We're all being played like little chump morons. <sighs> so we're going to be getting to that and playing some of those clips coming up. Uh, you know, just a few minutes in the third hour, but I want to get all that lined up and document that for folks. That the real promoters of hate are people like the Southern Poverty Law Center and ADL. And they continue to get caught with their pants down, and that's a good thing. But since I mentioned media manipulation and media control, I thought that I would play this piece, and, and this is an in auxiliaryinfowars.com reporter that put this report out, and then Paul Watson wrote a story around it, and I've said many times, don't ask me permission to be an InfoWars reporter. Don't ask me permission to paint InfoWars.com on the side of your barn. You have absolute right to do that. If you're a fan of Coca-Cola, you can paint on the side of your barn. But we get these emails and calls almost every day. You know, can I put your stuff on Access Television? Can I write about you, uh, you know, uh, in an article for the school paper? Uh, can can we write about Infowars in a play I'm writing for drama? You, you you can write about Moby Dick if you want, or 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 Elvis Presley, or Jesus Christ. I mean, whatever you want. Freedom is your freedom to create culture and art without getting. Permission, and that's what political correctness is, is I better not say or do anything. That's why they keep widening it to brown bags and dodgeball and everything's politically incorrect. So that you're just scared to death and just go in a ball and only repeat what you saw on Family Guy. And as the mainstream media is discredited, they're going to segue to Comedy Central and movies and drama. That's where the real propaganda is. And I almost don't even want to go to this piece because I'd like to get a piece Darren McBreen did. Maybe we can do this on the nightly news and then air it on the Sunday show and post on InfoWars for people. He did a whole report on admitted subliminals in TV ads in the modern age. And it's like a Sharpie ad where they just flash it for two seconds and it shows protesters and it says, don't protest, submit. And that is subliminal. And then we've got cases where in Breaking Bad, over and over again, they would attack Ron Paul in just flashes, where drug dealers and child molesters liked Ron Paul. And they only do it for a few seconds because your subconscious brain reads it, sees it, makes the connection. 
Your subconscious mind could be, some estimates are 100 times, some are only 10 times, more powerful than your cerebral cortex. The frontal lobes, the left and right hemispheres of the brain, are tiny compared to the rest of your brain. And they have to focus all this incredible knowledge down into what you're currently thinking about, what you're currently dealing with. And so folks are pointing this out. We're seeing this more and more where they create a mock Infowars.com website and then have it with a ridiculous conspiracy theory. And this is done at a subliminal level because you cannot read it when they flash it up there for one second. But your subconscious mind did, and we're seeing this all over the place. So I hate to just show one example because, I mean, let me tell you what's subliminal, quasi-subliminal. Bill O'Reilly did the report a few years ago, and he's done this several times, about cyber stalking and, 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 and men trying to rape women over the Internet via Craigslist. And then he cuts to me, screaming, in that case about police or something, nothing about women, and my face turning red. And he says, these haters must be stopped. I mean, I showed my lawyer. He said, yeah, you can sue news core and win. Do you want to spend a million dollars and take a couple of years to get two or three million dollars? Same thing with Rachel Maddow. I mean, my lawyer's rated probably the top lawyer in Texas. And I'm not bragging. And he said, but I mean, do you want to waste your time? And I said, no, they're just so discredited. But yeah, there's the headline. Bill O'Reilly smears Alex Jones in hate speech rant. This is quasi subliminal. Because it's like they're trying to make me a meme of, of, of you know, rapist, uh, racist, uh, because they know I've got their number. Now, let's go to this report. Comedy Central show chides Infowars with clone website. Segment features main character browsing conspiracy wars, which is the same logo as ours, with crazy headline. You can see the video up on Infowars.com if you're a radio listener. Here's the audio. The mainstream media's propaganda campaign to marginalize Alex Jones and Infowars continues to be deployed in full force and on all fronts. But the latest attack did not come from the usual suspects, MSNBC, Media Matters, Salon.com, or Fox News. Apparently, the mainstream media believes it's just not enough to demonize and lie about Infowars in the news alone. The attacks must also cross over into entertainment, where the audience lets their guard down and are more susceptible to the conditioning. A recent episode of Comedy Central's show, Broad City, aired February 11, 2015, featured an unfavorable cameo of the Infowars website. The episode begins with a quick shot of the main character's computer. Here it is. What is in the box, actually? It's only two seconds, and it goes by very fast. Here it is again. It's actually done. And it was on my birthday they first aired. It was quick, but it says Michael Jackson lives in Richard Branson's space condo. The header on the fictitious website says Conspiracy Wars, which is clearly an exact replica of InfoWars' website. This is more than just a harmless, meaningless joke. It is a carefully placed subconscious mind conditioning technique. The producers of the show went out of their way to create a fake website to condition their audience. They associate an outrageous headline with the image of InfoWars' trademark website header, which then gives their viewers a subliminal input that InfoWars is an unbelievable and untrustworthy news source. This quick subliminal message may be enough to dissuade someone from reading an InfoWars article they may come across without them even knowing why. This isn't the first time Alex Jones has been demonized through subliminals in entertainment. In 2013, a movie called Prisoners came out starring Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. The antagonist in the movie was a child abductor rapist conveniently named Alex Jones. Some people may object and say these are no big deal or they're just coincidences, but when you consider the mainstream media's repeated dishonest attacks on Infowars, the war on Alex Jones becomes overtly clear. I'm Adam Green, reporting unofficially for Infowars.com. Make sure to subscribe below to No More News and catch the sneak preview to my upcoming documentary film, The Conspiracy Theory Conspiracy. People always ask, how do they work with us? How do they work for us? You just do it. And this is how we end up getting reporters. David Knight, all these, Jakari Jackson, they won contest. Well, David Knight didn't win the contest, Jakari did, but he, he got in the running. Even though he lost the contest, he ended up, he moved under from North Carolina, his family doing a great job. We're just looking for a few good men and women that want to fight tyranny. And 
there are so many examples of this, and I made some phone calls to Hollywood and, and did indeed find out that the Alex Jones name with the writers was kind of a hat tip. And they said, look, the guy ends up being innocent in the movie and is actually like a good guy. So, you know, it's not all just attacks. People are like, wow, the, 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 the child molester is named Alex Jones. Well, it turns out he's not. Uh, so some of it, I mean, I mean, quite frankly, you go see something like Captain America. I mean, it's almost like I co-wrote the thing. Um, if, if you listen to this show, when we talked about the master plan with the extermination lasers on the blimps and the face scans, and that's basically in the movie, uh, and, and everything else, and how there's a how Hydra. But see, it's not that they're even copying me; it's that I understand how the system works because the globalists have written books about how it works that, that only they seem to read, but are hidden in plain view. You hear about it every day. Another shooting where innocent people lose their lives. The best insurance is being prepared. Give your loved ones the safety they deserve with a bulletproof backpack. Independently tested to withstand a 357 and multiple other calibers. Perfect for students, commuters, anyone. Shield yourself and your family. Call 8445-BULLET. That's 8445-BULLET. Or see the proof at bulletproofbp.com. Bulletproofbp.com. We've got your back. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. This year, resolve not to be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. Faketv.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy. Until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's TogetherSave.com. TogetherSave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. TogetherSave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at TogetherSave.com. Usually, the older one gets, the less you are able to absorb amino acids and the less you are able to repair the 100 trillion cells of your body. As a result, you'll have less energy, your tissues will shrink, and you'll become wrinkled. An older person will typically injure more easily and heal more slowly. Not fun. However, if you can consume a protein powder that is easier to absorb, then you may be able to gain back some strength, muscle, and speed of recovery. One World Whey is a highly digestible whey protein powder that may be the perfect answer for you. My name is Errol. I'm 74 years old. You know, the taste of One World Whey is amazing. I play pickleball, and since taking One World Whey and your trace mineral supplement, I have more energy and recover faster from my working out. I used to take another grass-fed whey protein powder, but now I'm getting much better results using One World Whey. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. I'm Alex Jones. Thank you for joining us. Dr. Andrew Wakefield is going to be joining us. His co-author was completely exonerated by a British court and given back his medical license. He was not engaged in fraud in the study with Wakefield. Wakefield suing as well is going to be exonerated. Uh, it's a total hoax. His, it turned out other British studies found the same thing, just were not widely circulated. And uh, the inserts of the vaccines admit they can give you neurological disorders, uh, pancreatitis, the list goes on and on. Uh, so th th this is how they dumb the public down. They'll say, uh, it's been discredited. The wheel does not exist. Uh, this guy's a fraud. It, it, it is hoax, hoax, hoax from the same folks that bring you uh, the fraud that is Brian Williams. And I don't like sitting up here talking about myself all day, but when they try to destroy Dr. Wakefield, they try to destroy Ron Paul or other really good people who we know are legitimate and who they're going after, we have to stand up for them. And when they're demonizing Infowars.com and yours truly, 
we're going to talk about it because we're getting attacked because we're on target. That's it's the show isn't about Alex Jones is getting attacked, but we're getting attacked so much. We've got to cover it to further discredit the system and to show people why they're attacking us. Because we know what these dirty rats are up to and they could all go the way of Brian Williams. This system is trying to bring in tyranny because it's tottering. Well, I don't want tyranny to collapse into greater tyranny. I want it to just be phased out into liberty. Nothing's going to be perfect. I don't claim utopias like every communist does or statist does. But we, a lot of revolutions are successful if they're peaceful. Violent ones are almost never successful. That's why they try to brand revolution in media as violent. The printing press was a revolution. There's been so many organic foods a revolution. Peaceful things, and they're demonizing right now, and they're in a full court press as their vaccine fraud comes out to dominate and bully everyone with peer pressure into doing this. Infowars.com has the report. Uh, it's also in Natural Society. You cannot make this up. It's an Anthony Gucciardi story. <sighs> McDonald's gives free vaccines with Happy Meals. I want to get Anthony on the nightly news tonight. Would you like a hepatitis A shot with your Happy Meal? Yes, we'll talk about this with Dr. Wakefield coming up. Unbelievable. Continuing, uh, yesterday it was reported by AP and others that indeed illegal aliens will get tax refunds even if they just got here. Free money. Obama amnesty creates loopholes for illegal immigrants to vote in elections. That's in the Washington Times. Yes, that's right. Openly and in and, and places like Illinois, they've, they've introduced legislation. In fact, did that pass? I know it passed their House and Senate. The governor was going to sign it to where anyone that gets to Illinois can vote. Of course, it violates federal law, but I mean, it's just incredible. Uh, U.S. sends China millions in foreign aid despite 1.3 trillion debt. <laughs> Uh, man, I, I tell you, I just, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was drunk during the State of the Union. <laughs> At least she admits it. I kind of, I don't, I don't like her. She's a, t a horrible tyrant, but uh, it has all these bodyguards that doesn't want you to be able to defend yourself. But at least she admitted she was drunk. <laughs> uh, Barack Obama's cybersecurity push spurs privacy fears. Financial Times of London. Yeah, it's CISPA and SOPA back. <clears throat> We're going to... Come back, cover some more news for five minutes, and Dr. Andrew Wakefield's going to be in studio with us. This is really important, because if we beat them on the vaccines, we beat them on everything. This is a really big deal, ladies and gentlemen, so stay with us. Uh, the second hour is coming up. And remember, they want to shut us down for a reason. They've got me surveilled. They've got my assessment. They know I'm for real. They know I'm fire-breathing liberty lover who's never going to back down and loves a fight. And they know that 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 excitement is infectious and can break the spell of lackadaisical malaise that people are under. I'm here to break folks' trance. And we need other trance breakers out there to get people out of their comfort zone and to get them in the game and get them outside the box and into the real world. If you feel as I feel, to quote V, and you know that ideas are bulletproof, then tell friends and family about the show, about the audio feeds, the free podcast, everything, and buy the high-quality products. Shop with the good guys at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139 or InfoWarsStore.com. We'll be back. Stay with us. To GCN. Visit GCNLive.com today. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother.
other. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. You just can't make this stuff up. Truth is stranger than fiction. Who said truth is stranger than fiction? Let's look up that quote. I think it's so old. I don't think it's attributed last time I tried to check. McDonald's gives free vaccines with Happy Meals. Infowars.com. And Anthony Gucciardi links directly into the McDonald's promotion page at the Amarillo newspaper. I mean, this is just completely insane that they're offering free vaccines. And, of course, they don't give you the insert, though, that, oh, this might give you pancreatitis. Oh, this might give you Guillain-Barre. Oh, this might give you epilepsy. This might kill you. They just go safe and effective. Conspiracy terrorists are lying scum. Even though anybody could get the insert. And read it for yourself like we did last week obnoxiously for an hour. I sat there and read a page and a half in fine print of the adverse reactions. Hey, want to get uh, type 1 diabetes? They'll, they'll tell you it's genetic. I'm no medical doctor, but I've talked to medical doctors at major hospitals here in Austin. And they go, Alex, you're absolutely right. What you say you've uh, you know, read the literature on. And my dad told me this years ago, and he's an oral surgeon, but he's done research into it, that vaccines can attack your pancreas, your brain, you name it. And then when your pancreas goes out, they go, oh, it's genetic. And I was talking to a medical doctor that works in a major children's hospital in Central Texas. And he was talking about the fact that, yeah, they're now connecting it to kids getting shots, but they don't know what to do because they just come in, all these little kids that are now type 1 diabetics, and, and then they have pancreatitis. They, they get pancreatitis, and then suddenly, and I'll ask Dr. Wakefield about this because he's a medical doctor, and then suddenly they can't process sugar anymore. Suddenly they don't have enough, I guess it's um, the insulin being released, and then now they're in the medical system for the rest of their lives. And I've talked to medical doctors. They're the ones telling me about this, and then Rob Dew goes, yeah, did you notice in the Merck MMR shot, the measles vaccine, that, that's one of the three things in here? That it says it can give you the measles in two different spots and that it can give you pancreatitis. And then diabetes. It says diabetes. It says diabetes. It says, di it says diabetes. And then I'm talking to medical doctors and they're like, shh, don't tell anybody, but we think it's giving people diabetes. Type 1. And then it's, it's hiding in plain view. A lot of this is just common sense. I'm out there flying a drone with my cousin and my son at Zilker Park the other day. And I go, you know, I bet they're going to put in the firmware of these because they're all GPS now, even a $300 one. That's what stabilizes it to where you can't fly into certain government areas. And Buckley goes, oh, no, David Knight did a report on that. You must have missed it. Yeah, I actually read the owner's manual. It says that there's all these areas being updated where you can't go. And they just updated it for the White House when the same model crashed in the White House. And, and see, I, I was just thinking, oh, I bet they do this. And then it was already being done. I mean, usually I'm not even ahead of the curve. I'm on the curve or behind it. I'm just willing to talk about it. So I'm thinking, oh, you know, for years, I've heard it might be connected to pancreatitis and diabetes, uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's, you know, it's in the insert. Like I'm here revealing something to you. That's what's so frustrating about all this is that so much of it is cut and dry. So much of it is cut and dry, and we just get lost in all the complexity that's out there. And we've decided that, well, the people in charge, they know what to do. I'll just let them run things because people think that th they're getting away with something not being involved or informed. What you're getting away with is not living a good life and not being uh, active and not being uh, empowered. I mean, it's exciting to know how stuff works. And it's exciting to stand up for people's health. And it's exciting to sit up here I mean, I crave getting more affiliates and more listeners. I want you to send your friends and family to this show so I can sit here and warn them like an obnoxious gorilla yelling at them that, hey, you better read the insert. That's why I crave a bigger audience. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. 
Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Talk about terrorism. I see the headlines in the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the LA Times, every day. It's a full court press, and not just here, but all over the Western world. Like, not just the Western world, in India. Bullying, saying we need to arrest people that don't vaccinate. We need to take their driver's license away. We need to have the IRS find them now that it's over Obamacare. And here's the latest article out, Time Magazine. Unvaccinated families, addresses should be made public. Like you're a child molester. Just like they try to do concealed carry gun owners who statistically have the lowest crime rate in the country, lower than off-duty police officers, the second safest group. Not bashing the police there. It is the concealed carry. Look it up. Unbelievable. Here's Newsweek. Andrew Wakefield, father of the anti-vaccine movement, responds to the current measles outbreak for the first time. And what they'll do is they'll take a prominent, intelligent doctor, scientist, or the food babe who's talented and smart and a good spokesperson. They'll pick them, try to destroy them, claim that they're a hoaxer, claim they're a liar. A lot of people like Brian Williams do it. Saying it's been proven that Obamacare doesn't, you know, have a death panel when it does. And then they'll say this person's been discredited when they haven't been. 
they engage in hoaxes, saying that we're engaged in hoaxes, saying safe and effective, there are no problems when there's a secret vaccine court and they've paid out billions of dollars in the last 30 years to keep people quiet. And it's happening all over the world. And the inserts say it can make you sick, say it can give you Guillain-Barre, say it can give you neurological disorder. I'm looking at the MMR shot right here that's got the measles in it. Diabetes. This is what it says on the back page in the reactions and side effects. Endocrine system, diabetes, digestive system, pancreatitis, and it goes on. Right down here, measles-like rash. And then it goes on to say that if you take it for 60 days, you shouldn't be around anyone because you can give it to people. It says 60 days. This is from Merck, MMR, right here. So incredibly frustrating. And now we have top scientists in the CDC, in Merck, in these big companies coming out and saying, yeah, we... Covered up the link to autism. See, they're the ones that covered it up. Not Andrew Wakefield. Now you think about that. Folks, they took his medical license in England. His associate that was a co-author just got it back and was just exonerated last week. But it's in the back of a few British newspapers. British court throws out conviction of autism vaccine MD. Andrew Wakefield's co-author completely exonerated. Andrew Wakefield's lawsuit against the author of what I think is a quack study by a journalist saying vaccines are totally wonderful and Wakefield engaged in deception with no proof. That's what they do, or they build a straw man. They build a straw man. Like MSNBC saying, Alex Jones says kill police, and they show no clip because it's a you-know-what lie. Starts with a D, but I'm not going to say it on air. It's a lie. These people, you think Brian Williams is bad? You think he's bad? That's nothing claiming he got shot down in a helicopter and he was an hour and a half away. That's nothing compared to getting up there on television like Rachel Maddow's done and like uh, Megyn Kelly has done and said, listen, Wakefield's totally discredited. There's nothing wrong with vaccines. It totally protects you. Get the shot. It's wonderful. That's a lie. And they demonize Jenny McCarthy, anybody that tries to stand up. And then if we don't stand behind the leaders when we investigate them and find out that they were heroes, not villains, then they can take us down. See, that's, that's what it's all about. If they can take down the icons, they can take everybody down. And so we're going to go for the rest of the hour, a little bit in the next hour, uh, to Dr. Andrew Wakefield. I just want to exhibit here uh, briefly uh, for TV viewers that, I mean, I'm showing you the MMR vaccine insert that came with it. We got it at Walgreens a month ago. And it, it just says measles, uh, uh, don't be around somebody for 60 days if you have it. It can give you diabetes because you'll have pancreatitis. Then if your pancreas doesn't turn back on, you got, you got diabetes. You got type 1 diabetes. I mean, it just says it. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm reading it. This is so shocking. We've gotten emails and calls saying, oh, it can't say that. People cannot believe this. Now, let me just show you a few other articles, and we're going to go to our guest. This is out of Time magazine. In Germany, a better vaccine for politicians. Turns out they get a secret vaccines that don't have all the additives and that are higher standards of quality. No one with the right minds debating that the science of this artificially learned immunity doesn't work, but it has side effects. And if these companies are exempt, then you're going to cover up. I mean, imagine an industry that was exempt. It'd be a nightmare, and it is. And they don't want to fix their industry. They want to destroy people that stand up for public health and do their job and follow the Hippocratic Oath. And I'm not kissing his butt, but instead of people carrying him on their shoulders, he's had to put his life back together again. And they could do that to anybody. Continuing, government to get special swine flu vaccine. Another headline. Flashback, UN halts Syrian vaccination program after dozens of children die. German Chancellor ministers get special vaccine. Eat it up, CBC, Greenpeace, others, Monsanto cafeterias do not serve GMO. Do not serve it. I mean, I can just keep going. Now, I just want to tell you, we, we've got major whistleblowers going public. Everything's imploding on them right now. They're about to have congressional hearings in Congress. That's why they're doubling down again on Fox News demonizing this man.
And then they can demonize all the millions of parents that have brain damaged children. And they can demonize all the adults and veterans that have got serious medical problems from their vaccines and tumors growing out from the injection sites. I mean, it's a nightmare because these people are divorced from reality, just like Bayer got caught and convicted 12 years ago in French and uh, Australian court of knowingly shipping out factor eight filled with hepatitis and HIV to millions of hemophiliacs. And, and there were corporate minutes where they said, so what, we're shipping it. Just didn't care. It was a death sentence, a long, horrible death. And Bayer didn't care. Now, are you mad at them or are you mad at Brian Williams? No, let's not get mad at Brian Williams. Let's just say Dr. Wakefield's the bad guy. So he joins us here, uh, his colleague exonerated. I want to give you the floor, try to shut up. I'm just so excited. Walk through your colleague by the British court, where your lawsuit's going. These huge whistleblowers coming out, the British studies that they'd suppressed years before you did yours, you weren't even aware of them. Recap for everybody, we're going to skip this network break. This is a public service announcement. Call your friends and family, tell them to tune in right now, because this is probably killing more people, in my view, than cigarettes. And it's, 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 and we need clean vaccines. We need good drugs, but we don't have them. Dr. Wakefield, again, we salute you for your groundbreaking work. Uh, and, you know, Galileo said that the earth wasn't the center of the world and they locked him up for the rest of his life. So we haven't gotten to that level, though they've been trying. And so, so we appreciate you. Alex, thank you very much. It's great to be back. I think you're absolutely right. What we're looking at is a system that is in meltdown right now. And they're in meltdown for a number of reasons. You can only sustain a lie, a falsehood for so long. And now that Dr. William Thompson, senior CDC scientist, has come forward and said that they have known for 13 years that MMR vaccine is causally associated with autism and they have hidden it from the public, from doctors, from public health officials, from everybody. They've kept it to an inner circle of people who knew the truth all along and have allowed millions of children to be put in harm's way in the interim. And he could no longer live with that and he's come forward with that now. And one has to hope that that goes before a congressional committee sooner rather than later. And if I have one message for your listeners and your viewers, it is that you must implore that your congressman take this very, very seriously and support Congressman Bill Posey's efforts to get this before a committee just as soon as possible. Looking at this now, uh, they're doubling down. It's like we're Jews in Nazi Germany that we don't want to get vaccinated. Arrest us, publish our names, where we live, come after us, take our children. Uh, I mean, they're really doubling down. Oh, it's desperate, isn't it? And, and it's rather like Salem, or more recently, as you point out, it's rather like banning the Nazis, banning Jews from using public transportation in order to avoid being contaminated by suspected infection. I mean, it's absolutely disgraceful. Oh, that's what they said. Yeah, you're right. So we're seeing that kind of reaction now to uh, what's happening. And it's very well orchestrated. It's heavily funded with billions of dollars of public relations fund, and it's failing. It's failing it is because failing. it's a lie. And if you have a vaccination policy in this country which mandates, which takes your children away, which puts you at gunpoint, which puts parents in prison for not vaccinating, that is not built upon public trust or confidence. That is a disaster. And public health policy, vaccination policy requires the confidence of the public, and they have lost it. Wow, this is epic. Think about it. In America and Europe, they're trying to make vaccines forced and they're coming out with hundreds of new ones where companies lobby and then government says it's the law to take it. They tried to have Rick Perry a few years ago run the hoax of saying it was the law with the Gardasil. I mean, there's no, there's no end to the depths. And as you said, I'm here following and I'm here talking to the public. They're doubling, tripling down. It is backfiring. But it shows this totalitarian instinct that now permeates government. Yeah, that's the notion of treating or protecting children against serious infectious disease with safe and effective vaccines is a laudable one. We, we both recognize... I want them! Absolutely, but the current schedule, and certainly MMR, meets none of those criteria. None at all. And uh, we have a major, major problem. Let me characterize this. Um, there are measles outbreaks apparently now in California and elsewhere. MMR vaccine, measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, does not protect against measles. Measles vaccine protects against measles. And the only recommendation that I have ever made in respect of MMR is to give them separately and 
delay them so that you have a, an interval between each vaccine. That's what the Japanese have done for 20 years. Well, the Japanese are an extremely good example because the Japanese had MMR. They don't want a bunch of brain-damaged children. When MMR came in in Japan, there was a dramatic rise in the incidence of autism. What they found is that the vaccine caused meningitis. The mump strain of the vaccine caused meningitis. Public confidence was lost and the vaccine was stopped. And the, vac the uptake of, of the vaccine and the decline in the use of the vaccine exactly mirrors the rising and falling incidence of autism. Now, what happened next was that there was a rebound, a dramatic rebound in the incidence of autism. It went up skyrocketed. Why? They never used MMR again. But what the vaccine policy recommendation was in Japan was to use to give children at 12 months the measles and rubella vaccine on the same day and to give voluntary mumps vaccination not less than four weeks later. Now that in many ways is still giving combination viral vaccines. So you're recapitulating the same problem that you have with MMR. Now the kicker is, Alex, that the single mumps vaccine, the one that caused meningitis, when it was given on its own, caused little or no meningitis at all. It was when it was put into the MMR that there was an unacceptable level of meningitis. What does that tell us? It tells us that you get a novel, unexpected, adverse event associated with the combination vaccine that you did not get with the single. There and you've studied this. Uh, Dr. Blaylock, uh, who's coined a lot of terms that are now in, in mainline medical journals, says that there's a basically an adjuvant effect of mixing them together. It, it, it just makes them many times more powerful. Uh, mixing them, or what is it? It certainly alters their behavior. And this was recognized as soon as they were put together. It's called viral interference. And they were concerned that it influences the protective immune response. There was no concern whatsoever, except amongst the Japanese, about safety. No concern. You cannot take three live viral agents and put them into combination and just expect that one and one and one equal three. They don't. They and I saw they're now coming out with some vaccines they are flooding and have as many as ten? Yes, now they, where they, for example, with the live viral vaccines, they put in the chickenpox vaccine. When they did that, it doubled the rate of febrile convulsions. There again is a classic example of more is not better. But these inserts say they can give you convulsions, so... So, so why are we being attacked when the insert says all this? I wonder how many patients or parents actually get to see that insert, uh, Alex. I wonder how many people ask for it, and I wonder how many doctors spontaneously show it in, as part of the informed consent process. Very, very few. Well, we told folks that there were some tips on to win the lottery in here, or maybe fantasy football, they might read it. But, I mean, if I was going to put any drug, I'm going to put in my body, I don't care what it is, antibiotics, uh, anything, I go read the insert. You ought to know what's in there. This is just crazy. And for those that don't know, each vial of the MMR or any other vaccine or drug in the box with it, by law, comes this. So they have this at Walgreens at CVS. I think parents need the choice. They need the choice in the presence of the current concerns about the safety of MMR vaccine. They must have a choice of how to protect their children against infectious disease. You well, I know you're here warning people you know, as a doctor and you know, trying to save folks, but, but tell us about... Your story, recapping it briefly, where it is, where your lawsuit is, your co-author being exonerated. Um, I know you're moving towards that. You've been exonerated with the whistleblowers, the previous studies. But this has got to really hurt the people that tried to destroy you uh, as just fate would have it. All this evidence pours out. Well, Alex, I've been in this 20 years now, and that's a <laughs> feels like many, many lifetimes. But we listened to parents who said that my child was perfectly normal. I'm not anti-vaccine. I took my child to get vaccinated. When I did that, they got the MMR and they regressed into autism. And uh, they also developed gastrointestinal symptoms. And as a physician interested in gastrointestinal disease, I recommended those children should get investigated for that. They were investigated by the world's leading pediatric gastroenterologist at the time. Professor Walker Smith, who you've just mentioned, my co-author on the paper, and he found that they had an inflammatory bowel disease. We treated that disease. Not only did the bowel disease symptoms improve, but the behavioral and autistic symptoms improved. It was the beginning of a fascinating journey. But we had to investigate whether the parents were also right about whether the vaccine had precipitated in this. That's when the problem started. And so Murdoch's uh, brought his team of journalists along, Brian Deere. They came up with this extraordinary story uh, that we had involved ourselves in fraud and deception, that we had made it up, there was no ethical approval, all of this kind of thing, while at the same time 
holding back from the General Medical Council inquiry vital documents that showed there was indeed ethical approval for this study. He knew throughout the investigation and the proceedings mm. that he had in his possession key documents. That was an obstruction of justice. Have you ever physically been around this guy? I, if I was you, I, I bet you get angry. I get angry, but, you know, um, it's, it's not about me. It's not about me, Alex. No, I know, but, I mean, this guy's trying to cover up what's going on with children. He's a despicable character, in my opinion. Yeah, one thing I cannot forgive him for is the damage done to the children, because now we are many, many years on, and because the bowel disease in the minds of many was synonymous with vaccine injury, that had to be declared a fraud as well. Because people were getting such good results in slowing or reversing it, God forbid we get a treatment for this. That's right, and the trouble is that all of those children did not get investigated because doctors were terrified of doing the right thing, terrified of looking after their patients properly, of treating these children. That's right. Trying to destroy you was meant to scare everybody off before this got further investigated. But go back in. It turns out there have been some other studies that you didn't know about that had found similar things. Yeah. Now, uh, there have been studies from Canada, from uh, the, the Far East, from here in America, confirming that beyond a doubt, these children have a novel inflammatory bowel disease in many cases that is amenable to treatment. And the key is not to walk away from the fight, because if you walk away from the fight, other doctors are just going to have well, look, no yardstick by which to judge what they should do. I know you have to be very careful in science, uh, even going off other studies and things, because they'll take what you're saying out of context and claim, oh, he's saying this, oh, he's saying that. But when I have Dr. Blaylock on, who's a famous brain surgeon and, you know, wrote major papers on endocrines and on so many other things and excitotoxins, I mean, in the inserts, I'm no doctor, but I can sit here and read all the things that this does. I know I worked for a large animal vet for a year, a small animal vet for three years uh, in high school. And they would say, tell people, don't vaccinate your pet every year. It's causing them to have convulsions. It's causing them to have allergies. It's causing them to have diarrhea. It's causing them to die. And so they've kind of got the laws changed now where they vaccinate every three to four years and animals are in a lot better. Though the lobby's coming back trying to say every year now. So it's, it's the same thing. So I was... 15, 16 years old, listening to Jess Adkins, the large animal vet in East Texas, you know, saying, you know, these vaccines have got some problems. So, I mean, I remember hearing about that. But if I read this insert for the MMR shot, Merck & Co. Inc., uh, White House Station, New Jersey, when I sit here and I read this, it says diabetes, pancreatitis, uh, Guillain-Barre. I mean, I mean, it says all these neurological disorders. It says it can kill you. I mean, it's, it's just page after page in Bible paper, it's super thin, uh, saying all the stuff it can do, measles like rashes. So w w as best we can tell, what is it doing? It's causing an auto, a, a autoimmune thing, an inflammation in the pancreas, in the intestines, in the brain. What's happening, doctor? Well, just come back to the point you made. The vets were way ahead of the curve. The vets recognized these problems and dealt with them far, far sooner than, than medical professionals have. And they took the thimerosal, the mercury preservative, out of vaccines many years before it was even considered to be taken out of human vaccines because they recognized that it was doing harm. And as you say, they spaced the vaccines out because they recognized they were give, be, the pets were being given, given too many vaccines too frequently. So if only we took a, a, a lead from the vets, we wouldn't necessarily be in the same position we are now. Now, how is it working? Well, I think there are many, many ways. And the trouble is, Alex, by the time we see these children, they are so sick and their systems are so deranged that it's very difficult to say what happened first. Tracing it back to the first thing that went wrong is very, very difficult. But certainly the immune system is very much disturbed. There is an autoimmune component. The body turns upon itself. And so I think it's in large part an immune mediated disease that affects not just the brain, but the rest of the body systems as well in many cases. So poison ivy is an autoimmune issue. Um, AIDS is when your T lymphocytes are gone and you lose uh, the programmer cells, I guess. Um, I mean, as best I, from all my years of researching the medical literature, it just seems like it's causing a serious autoimmune disorder. I've also seen a lot of... Uh, Reports linking Crohn's disease that's really expanding and growing and, and spreading 
uh, to people that have been vaccinated. Yeah, we, we, well, that's where, how we got into this initially, looking at the measles vaccine and Crohn's disease. Uh, and we still don't know the answer on that because these diseases are so complex. Causation is not simple. But we know they're exploding right now. We absolutely know that there are epidemics of these immune diseases which are seen in the most highly vaccinated populations of the world and are far less common in those children That's right. getting, on the getting lower rates of vaccination. The we'll be right back with Dr. Andrew Wakefield. I'm Alex Jones. Alex Jones this is and the GCN Radio Network. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 the month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's begun and you can feel it. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. When the night My friends, it is a normal response to get excited, to get upset, to get motivated. When you sit here and you know about the history of secret experimentation, you know about all the problems with vaccines, you know about major pharmaceutical companies knowing that their products are killing people. And then I was talking to one of the top people in the state who I happened to run into, and I looked them up later, and it was who they said they were. Basically, right near the top of the state vaccine program. And he said, Alex, we do know that it's hurting people, but there's a greater good in the vaccination overall. So we're, you know, we're kind of, but, but we are aware. And, and we know it's, it's true. And we know it's causing the neurological disorders. And I talked to the guy on the hike on the bike trail for like 20 minutes. And he said, just, you know, you, I tell you who I am, but just don't say my name. And I went and Googled him, and there he was. But he seemed like he was struggling with himself, but he had the rationalization. But, but the end justifies the means. No, it doesn't. 
because most of these vaccines don't even protect you. Like the diarrhea vaccine they had was killing a bunch of kids. They had to pull off the market. You know, sometimes it's a blessing that it's so bad, it kills so many. Like Gardasil, it gets banned in Japan and restricted in other countries. Not here, of course. America is a dumping ground. So is the UK, where, where people just line up and worship the, the gods in the white lab coats. Well, the gods in the white lab coats aren't doctors. More and more, they're just delivery boys, delivery girls for big pharma, and they're robots. And now under Obamacare, and the National Health Service in England, pretty much you're, you, you medically do what the standard computerized order tells you is what you do when you enter in this criteria. And that's the move towards phasing humans out. You'll just have technicians over computers and over systems that decide what to do. We have a government that has secret death lists for the veterans. That's come out in the news. And they have the IBM Watson computer uh, decides who to give treatment and who not to. So the bioethics board doesn't feel bad. They don't have to, you know, not treat the 55-year-old vet who's had a heart attack. And they go, well, he might only live 10 years, the actuary shows. And so it's not worth it and the money. Just let him die of a heart attack. Or the computer says he'll probably die within six months. I mean, that comes out in the news. And we're like, well, you know, and, and, and let's just trust the system. No, there is social engineering going on above this. Dr. Wakefield doesn't go there. And I haven't even asked him what he thinks is going on at the bottom of the rabbit hole. I know. When Bayer said, you know what? Do the world a favor. There's too many hemophiliacs. It's like Dr. Sock's associate on that PBS report said, yeah, it turns out hundreds of millions of people were given a polio vaccine that had cancer viruses in it. And we estimate a lot of people got cancer and died from it. He goes, but we joke, there are too many people. <laughs> I could play that clip right now if you'd like me to. So that's the larger issue. I'm going to give our guest the floor as best I can to really get into all the other things that have happened, what's unfolded, let him roll for a while because he's so polite, he'll pause and I'll take over. But this is epic stuff, and we're on the verge of bringing these people down on so many fronts. Brian Williams is just one window into that. Hillary Clinton, all of these people, they're the hoaxers, they're the fraudsters. And we got to get our human anger back and our motivation to do something about it. And you need to fund this operation. The TV system launching, doing very well, reaching millions more every week. The news websites, the radio show is the heart of it all. We are expanding here and we'll try and expand a little bit more and then maintain at that level is the plan. And we're almost there it is essential that you go to InfoWarsStore.com where we have a wide range of pro-liberty t-shirts. We have a whole section made in America, very affordable. We have another section that is not made in America, if you choose, uh, that, that is less expensive. We just give you the choice. InfoWarsStore.com. We've got all the Molon Labe line. We've got more of the long sleeve camo shirts in that are so popular. Uh, we've got uh, an, another run of a of limited edition, new design of Molon Labe brass belt buckles. We've got a few of these silver double stamped or triple stamped coins in. Molon Labe commemorative, 500 and that's it. They're almost gone. Comes with a free lapel pin, 1776 worldwide. Uh, we've also got hundreds of other t-shirts, a lot of which I designed, a lot of which other patriots designed. Point is, this is an Alex Jones designed shirt. We've got beanie caps, baseball caps, camo caps, and it's about meeting like-minded people and it's about spreading the word. We've got to be walking billboards for liberty. And your purchase ends up funding the operation. So it's a win, 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 win. You get good-looking clothing, promote freedom, meet like-minded people, and fund this operation. InfoWarsLife.com. True nascent iodine. X2 deep earth crystal source. Nobody else has got this. We had to jump through DEA hoops when we came out with this a few years ago. Uh, th this stuff turns into gas when it's put on top of a hot plate. The stuff that's put into the palm oil. Nobody. This is not the garbage stuff that'll kill you at the store or whatever. This is, you know, approved, powerful, true, pure iodine, purest out there. That's why it turns bright blue, purple on paper, not black or red like the bound garbage iodine that's out there that's in alcohol. It. Believe me, we had a clean source of this that was from seaweed, but was too hard to get and wasn't as strong when we discovered the crystal source. And we went around to all the other manufacturers and big companies and just could not put our name on it. And so it took us years to finally come up with this. And it, it's, it's groundbreaking because you got all these bad halogens in you. 
this is the good halogen, and it just basically pulls them out. It's, it's amazing. The amount of energy. Well, you've heard the rave reviews from listeners. You can get two bottles of X2 right now and get a free bottle of Ancient Defense Herbal Booster, Herbal Immunity Booster, that's got scores of well-known, just time of memorial, things like elderberry, you name it, that boost natural health and vitality and immunity. You can get a free bottle of that when you get two bottles of X2. Try it and you're supporting the broadcast and I think you'll come back and get more. Uh, we've also got the, uh, talking about the gut, we've got the Oxy powder that Hollywood loves um, that flushes out all that garbage. It's, it's time-released oxygen. We've got the Oxy powder and a bunch of other great products at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. We have the methylcobalamin, uh, nutraceutical, pharmaceutical grade, uh, vegan-based vitamin B12 that you can take sublingually and has a much higher absorption rate from the research we've looked at. Uh, you've got Secret 12 available and just a lot of other great products that are groundbreaking, but are also very, very simple. Uh, so InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And also please support our local AM and FM affiliates and spread the word. Okay, that's the mid-air refueling to fund the operation. Dr. Wakefield, I can ask questions. I can rant and rave. Brief the people out there where we are now in this totalitarian push to force inoculation. Now it's do or die. We're close to breaking their back. That's why we're seeing their battle of the bulge moment when, let's just compare them to Hitler. That we've driven them back, we're winning, and they hit us with everything they've got. But you can see that Zeb Dietrich out there leading this attack uh, doesn't have the moral high ground. He's going to fail. I don't care how big and black his army tanks are. The ground troops are out there with their bazookas. We're taking these tanks out right now. Uh, let's talk about what's happening. You've got the floor. Well, I think you're, you've characterized it very well. This is a, a do-or-die moment. It's absolutely crucial in the history of this country and indeed the world of who prevails. Who do your children actually belong to? And if we do not get uh, William Thompson before a congressional series of committees that unearth the precise nature and extent of the fraud at the CDC and how they... That's are, the big whistleblower. That is the big whistleblower. Then if we do not do that, and if we lose this battle, your children, you will be owned by the pharmaceutical industry and your children and your children's children. Slavery. And they are simply a marketplace for those companies. They are quantified in terms of vaccination for every birth in how much revenue they will generate for the pharmaceutical industry in a mandated program for which there is no real recourse to any kind of compensational litigation if your children are harmed. So they want to take away your rights as to whether your children should be vaccinated or not, according to your decision. But if your child is harmed, and vaccines are, according to the Supreme Court, unavoidably unsafe, then you are left to pick up the pieces. And that is the system that we face. And at the end of it is a massive profit for the pharmaceutical industry. Now, the way to do this, Alex, is to get your congressman to support Bill Posey. And you must do this. It's no good sitting there. So we've made it easy for you. Go to the autismmediachannel.com and on there... There are 30 pages of complaint that I have written with Dr. Brian Hooker, which characterize precisely the fraud committed by the CDC, based upon the documents provided to us by William Thompson, the whistleblower. And those documents must be put in the hands of your congressman so that they know exactly what happened, and then they can give Bill Posey his support in getting this to committee. That's right. Highlight them, go to their offices or when they're back in your state, and give it to them. Hold them by the hand and say, listen, kids are getting hurt. You read this fraud and get up off your butt. And here's the thing. Those, those congressional, uh, uh, they're in the recess next week. So they are coming back, many of them, to their district. You can go and meet them in your district. You don't have to travel to D.C., but you make sure that every congressman in this country is aware of exactly what's going on. Because at the moment, pharma lobbyists are scaling Capitol Hill like orcs storming Helm's Deep. It's a hideous sight. And even though you can see their huge offensive. I mean, this is this is this is battle of the bulge. I mean, they're throwing everything they've got. And this is a matter between Congress and a congressional agent or a federal agency, the CDC. It shouldn't involve the pharma lobbyists at all. The, the congressman should have the trust to say to them, this is none of your business. You may be indirectly affected by the outcome of this, but th this is between us and a federal agency that has committed an alleged fraud. So get out of my office and wait for the result.
Well, think about with government-run health care that's run by special interest and written by it, they can just make us buy whatever, quote, health products they want, including tainted vaccines. This is super high-tech slavery. I mean, this is over the top. Yeah, so please go to autismmediachannel.com, download those PDF documents, and get them in front of your representative. Do not hesitate. Next week, they will be back in district and they will be available to you. So make it happen, because if we lose this battle, we lose it for a very, very long time. Elaborate on how, where's the lawsuit going, how your colleague, the co-author, super prestigious. I mean, I looked him up, like you said, one of the top um, you know, gastro experts uh, in uh, the UK or Europe. That's why they were so scared of you guys and had to shut you down because you're smart, well-spoken, prestigious, getting results, helping people, had to be destroyed. Uh, but they failed. You came back like the Phoenix, and that's so exciting. So, so break down where that fight's going right now as well. Certainly. Let me start with John Walker-Smith. When the GMC rendered their opinion and had a, their decision and had us struck off the medical register in the UK, both Dr. Professor Walker-Smith and I filed an appeal. And I did not get funded for my appeal. It would have cost me about £500,000, which I didn't have, to fight that appeal, so I had to withdraw my Because they destroyed your livelihood. That's right. His was funded, and he took it to the High Court. This was the first time it had ever been in front of a proper judiciary. The judge, Justice Mitting, destroyed the GMC, destroyed them. He essentially accused them of being incompetent, unable to uh, incompetent, unable to handle evidence. They did not know how to. They were. He accused them of being biased. They rejected evidence that was valid. They had no idea what they were doing. Yes, they did actually, because they were doing it deliberately. Well, they were setting you up. They had been given their marching orders, and they were going to get a guilty verdict, whatever. And at the end of it, counsel on behalf of the GMC admitted, said, "We're sorry. We know dis uh, our mistakes were made." And we didn't handle this properly. And the, and the judge said, it would be a shame if this were ever to happen again. You go away and you change your whole process of conducting these fitness to practice inquiries. So it was demolished. However, they got what they wanted, and that was taking my license away. And now autism rates have gone, I mean, I mean, they vary. The highest are in South Korea, correct me if I'm wrong. It's like, like 1 in 30-something. It's 1 in 50-something here now. It was 1 in 68. It was 1 in 25,000 30 years ago. I mean, I can see the children when I'm at the grocery store or I'm out in public. Kids aren't looking too good. Uh, and the babies aren't. And I mean, you go to a movie theater, sometimes the thing is just full of autistic children. God bless their little hearts, you know, babbling uh, and, 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 and just going through hell. And I go to doctor's offices sometimes to, you know, take my children to the pediatrician. And I'll be in there and there's like 15 kids and like five of them are autistic. I mean, this is an epidemic. Is it going to be one in ten, one in five, one in two? I mean, how long will this go? How many? I mean, does half the population have to be sitting in the corner in diapers, cussing when they're 15 years old, screaming at their parents before we do something? I think the way to look at this, Alex, is look at the CDC's own numbers on this and look at the trend over time. The uh, it's, it's now, what, as you say, around one in 50. If you extrapolate from that and you look at the risk for autism for a child born today, it's one in 25. And it's estimated that by what, 2025, it'll be one in two children will have autism if nothing is done about it. And that is completely, the situation now is completely unacceptable. But that will be a disaster. No economy in the world can sustain that kind of attrition of its population. So... Something has got to be done immediately. Well, yeah, something was done. Have, have you read Eco-Science, written by the current White House Science Czar? I have not. It's pretty interesting. Um, they uh, talk about social engineering through, through uh, medical systems, water and vaccines to uh, get people in line. Yeah. Pretty, pretty interesting. It was written by, they think there's too many people, Paul R. Ehrlich, Annie H. Ehrlich, and John P. Holdren. And uh, this book is digitally online for free they try to pull it down when people find it because it's pretty uh, shocking this was basically adopted by unesco as a global shadow policy uh to uh, carry out social engineering through medicine right well keep an eye on your copy alex i might have to steal it before i go but... well you can borrow it you're certainly welcome to thank you but the, uh, you know and the other issue is what happens? Okay, there are two elements to this there's the epidemic that's occurring now and then there are the children who are already damaged what do we do about those children as they age out and they become adults. As you say, sitting in diapers at the age of 15, 20, 25. 
uh, unable to cope, unable to deal with themselves. And we had a tragic case here in Austin the other day of a young man who was in a group home in the district, in the community, and a simple thing happened. I think someone stood on a DVD of his. He had a meltdown. He went running around the district, knocking on doors, and he was shot four times, shot to death. That These people cannot cope in the community. They have no idea. Yeah, it's scary when a 25-year-old autistic man's at your door, yeah. and we're sad he got shot, but, I mean, it, it, and, and cops are shooting him all the time, too, because you get some guy running at you screaming. I mean, it's... Yeah. And nobody understands the problem. This is the problem. The people out there in the community do not understand what autism is or that these individuals have no sense of danger whatsoever. So what are we going to do with all of these autistic adults? And that's... A tragedy, and someone here in Austin, uh, Polly Tommy, is creating the Autism Trust to provide a long-term home for these individuals where they won't be drugged. They won't be simply put on psychotropic medications which have no indication in autism whatsoever but make life easier for the carers. That's I think I awesome. met him out in Lakeway. It, Polly is, uh, you probably met her husband. Husband, yeah. yeah. The husband and, and wife team. and He was showing me all the stuff they're going to build the campus. Pretty Absolutely, amazing. that's right. So... Um, it's, it's an exciting time for people here in Austin, but one of these places is not going to be anywhere near enough. You could deal where you could have 10 or 15 in Austin alone, let alone the rest of Texas or the country. Well, I know a lot of personal friends, some quite famous people as well. I mean, you'll be on the phone with them and, you know, their kids in the background going just over and over again screaming at them I mean, for hour after hour after hour. I mean, it is, I, I couldn't think of a way to debilitate a society better. You know, they came up with a 223 to just wound people in Vietnam because they found that would debilitate the Vietnamese if they had to have five people take care of somebody who was just wounded instead of dead. Well, that's what this is. It's like a walking dead. I mean, they're just walking wounded. It's incredible. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I would jump up with energy. I would run out there, and I would try to get the child out front of the car because I've done that before. You know, been on the highway, and a car flips. People are stuck. We help get people out. I'm not a hero. I saved a lady one time with a Heimlich maneuver. Came out of the bathroom. No one was helping the lady. She was turning blue, falling over on the table. They just kept saying, call 911, call 911, call 911. And then I went over there and she coughed up all this bread. And people thought I was a hero then. That's why we're in so much trouble. Is that it's not heroic to do the right thing to help people. And the instinct to, to stand up against tyranny has been lost to a great extent. Everybody needs to go to autismmediachannel.com, get the data, send it to Congress, get involved today. Because there is a war going on and we need to mobilize against Big Pharma and the social engineers that are engaged in this. We need to take action. And I got to tell you, Dr. Wakefield, uh, your partner's been exonerated. You don't have the money to go through the process. You were saying during the break, they should just, you know, exonerate you, but they don't want to step down that far and admit that they're that wrong. But what are they going to do as the vaccines just keep ravaging everyone? They're going to lose this fight in the end. Well, one thing I want to talk about, Alex, one of the most insidious problems with this is that uh, I was sent a seventh graders test the other day, standardized test for seventh graders across the country. And it said, 10 years ago, a doctor wrote a paper. He made it all up, and since then, we've all been much sicker. And then there were a series of questions that these seventh graders had to answer, which went along with that notion that there was fraud, it was all made up, that children weren't being damaged, that vaccines weren't causing problems. And here's the problem, that you had to give them the answer they wanted. So to pass the test, you had to comply. And to comply, you had to lie. And that is the poisoning of young minds. That is what the Nazis did in schools to alienate school children from foreigners, from the Jews. Uh, they called them foreigners. How many aliens, they say, lived in this country? Auslanders. Absolutely extraordinary. And that same thing is happening now in schools. And if you do not give them the answer you want, they want, you will fail the test. Well, that's Common Core. That's exactly what they do. Uh, they'll have questions like, guns are killing more people now. How do we stop it? We ban them. And they're just putting brainwashing directly into the tests themselves. It's outrageous. It's incredible because, you know, it, what that will do is self-select those people who are compliant, not the people who think critically and ask questions and say, no, actually, I've read differently, or 
my child, my sorry, my uh, my sibling, my brother or sister experienced this, and I know that vaccine damage is a real problem. Fail out. Look at this article. McDonald's gives free vaccines with Happy Meals in Texas. Would you like a hepatitis A shot with your Happy Meal? Anthony Gucciardi, uh, and it's out of Amarillo.com, is the original article. Can you believe that? And do, and do McDonald's give informed consent at the same time? Do they hand them that product insert and say, here are a list of the problems that you could have with this vaccine? No, I don't think they do. No, of course they don't. It's absolutely disgraceful. These things are being treated like candy. And these are viral agents or, you know, sort of mutations of viral agents or extracts of viral agents that have a known downside. And yet they're being given in McDonald's in what exchange for a Happy Meal? Absolutely incredible. Well, instead of getting a toy now with your GMO Bill Gates uh, garbage, you know, he's on the board with those folks. Instead, you now get a loving vaccine on top of it. We'll be right back with the final few minutes with Dr. Wakefield. GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Dr. Andrew Wakefield has been exonerated by CDC whistleblowers, Merck whistleblowers. His colleague, one of the top uh, gut experts in the UK, just exonerated after years of battle. And the court absolutely eviscerated uh, the government agency that engaged in this uh, quackery. Uh, it, it's just amazing what's going on. So the fight is joint. He is exonerated, but the word isn't out on that yet. You're making a new documentary. You have another documentary that has been very successful, winning at film festivals. It's now available. Tell folks about the film. Well, I decided some years ago, Alex, that to beat the media, you have to become the media. And you've made that decision yourself, I'm sure, many years ago and get the message out there. And we have so many extraordinary stories that I've learned over the last 20 years from these parents that it was time to tell those stories. And the one that we produced is a film called Who Killed Alex Bordelakis? It's a tragic tale of a child in Chicago with a 14-year-old with severe autism who was ult ultimately killed by his mother and his godmother. His, yes, his godmother. Um, now, we started filming them as a way of showing how these children could be helped but he fell foul of a medical system which was totally and utterly inadequate. This is a system that put this child on over 25 psychotropic drugs, only two of which are licensed by the FDA for the treatment of children with autism. Only two. So this is quackery. This is true quackery. And it's where the way that this system is going, and that's got to change. So the story highlights one of the most poignant and distressing aspects of of the way in which this country now handles children with autism. And we made it in order that this should never happen again. These parents should never have been put through that. Well, what about with all the bioethics talk? Now, they're talking about just getting rid of uh, people that have um, any type of um, mental disability or whatever, warehouse them, death panels. Uh, I mean, I think when you once you get to one in ten people with autism, I'm not saying do this, but it'll be, I mean, we're going to collapse. We won't be able to take care of all these people. And the state's going to say, kill them. You know, the moment that you consider any individual member of a society expendable, then you have lost your moral compass. 
And that is exactly what is happening at the moment. And it's being done because market forces are dictating that. that what did you think of the secret death panels that came out with the VA? And they just swept that under the rug, too. No, I just heard about that for the first time from you. See, it hardly even got coverage. Can you believe an IBM computer decides? Who shall live and who shall die? Yeah, that happened in Nazi Germany. And people say, quit using the Nazi analogy. It's it's dead on, though. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's a very, very good historical yardstick for so many of the things that can go wrong in society if bad people get in control and good people do not act to restore the integrity of that society. So it is a very good yardstick, and it it's entirely appropriate to use it. Well, I got called aside by my children's pediatrician who runs one of the biggest clinics in, in Austin. He's retired now. This is like six, seven years ago, and he said... Listen, I get why you're not vaccinating your kids, uh, because you know, he has one of those big clinics where he, where he won't push you to, but most of his kids go in there, do get him. He goes, I volunteered for a clinic, you know, doctors are supposed to do that for folks that don't know. In, in, in East Austin, we were giving them live polio vaccine. That's supposed to be illegal for 20 years. He goes, it's got SV40. And he goes, he grabbed my arm and he goes, but you don't tell anybody my name. And, 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 but I mean, wh that's how scared doctors are. Yeah, they're terrified. And the, 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 what happened to me was, has now become um, Wakefielded. They call it Wakefielded. It may even get into Wikipedia, you know, of, of, of this phenomenon of isolating doctors, destroying their credibility and saying to everybody else, if you get involved, if you question vaccine safety, if you criticize our drug, this is what will happen to you. Do you remember that Merck Vioxx trial in Australia where they produced the, the, inter, the, the internal emails for executives talking about how they would deal with doctors who criticize They said them. isolate them, destroy them, yeah. uh, kill them, I think. You may have to seek them out and destroy them where they live. And when yep, yep. Matt Lauer asked me about this in interview, he said, well, what you're talking about is really conspiracy theory, isn't it? And I said, well, it's interesting that you should say that, Matt, because this is what came out in Australia in the Vioxx trials there. And it sounds a little more like corporate policy than conspiracy theory, doesn't it? Sounds like mafia to me. We salute you, autismmediachannel.com. Folks, get the film. We salute you. We support you. God bless you, Dr. Wakefield. Thank you very much. I tell you, uh, this is amazing. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, and GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race.
price. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. It's the plan. Kill the country. World government. It's here. The challenge is how to build a world order. Never before has a new world order had to be assembled from so many different perceptions or on so global a scale. The governments don't rule the world. Goldman Sachs rules the world. This is we are going to carve up the world according to the way we want to. Unelected world government looting you. They've exercised power for actual world or global control. I know what North Korea is. I know what the TSA is meant to be. You want to shut their energy systems off? You want to break up their families? If you have so much power in play, you can do anything. Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. You understand you're living in a science fiction movie. I'm living in it. The government has just approved the use of a computer chip that would be implanted under your skin. When complete, everyone will have a unique 12-digit identity number. That DNA is stored even without your consent. But I mean, do they point blank say, we're putting a chip in you? Uh, yeah. It was an interior barcode, if you will. This makes my head explode, that your television could be eavesdropping on your conversations and then sharing it over the web. All the cars now have tracker boxes that can remote control your vehicle in them. The Justice Department is building a national database to track in real time the movement of vehicles around the U.S., storing hundreds of millions of records about motorists. It's like the elite space aliens or something with a master plan. It's so evil. It's so sadistic. No, it's the devil. I mean, that's it. This galactic force of destruction that's animating people to do this. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. And if you're listening to this transmission, you are our hope. The globalists hide in plain view and they hide behind the complexity of our world. I can't keep track of my personal checking account sometime and bills and, you know, children and events and family and illnesses and I get it. And so we're all just atomized on our own. The system's divided us all against each other in hundreds of different ways. And it hit me this morning. I stayed up late last night. I still woke up at like 6 in the morning. When I was laying there in bed, I just thought, wow, the president really is bringing in all the illegals outside of the law and giving them tax refunds and letting them vote, and it's all over the news. And they really are putting our military under NATO command. And Obamacare really is designed to get rid of doctors and patients having any decision making. And it really is a monumental screw job. And I just want to think about all the bad things they're doing and realizing that the worst I've projected onto the New World Order is a whitewash. I mean, I mean everything I say. I believe what I say. But then I hear how extreme it is. But it's true. And then it's worse. And then I had one of those rare moments in my life where I felt not fear, but beyond sadness. It's, it's like a feeling of regret. I've psychoanalyzed it. That's why I can't stand people thanking me. Because you're such good people. You're so wonderful. I can see your soul in your eyes, and, and, and you're believing in me. I'm a failed person, part of this system. So I'm not what needs to be thanked. It's the freedom that needs to be protected, and the liberty and the truth. That is what is important, not the messenger. 
because I feel completely angry with myself that I want to go to a concert. I want to go to a movie. I want to sit around with my buddies and, and you know, I want to go play pool and make jokes. <laughs> you know, I'm just like a regular guy. I want to go sit around a deer camp and, and you know, eat deer chili. And I do do some of that. And then uh, it's just a paradox because I've got to have some rest and relaxation. But at the same time, I mean, we're living in a science fiction movie, just like I said in that promo earlier. I mean, this stuff's real. <laughs> I mean, it's it just hit me. And I, I, I got up, went, uh, went, went in the bathroom, came out, and I just kneeled down on the ground. And I wasn't even really praying to God. I just, it was a normal response to just want to get in a kneeled position, my whole body, my soul going, my God, what do we do to stop these people? And I just constantly now today, a few weeks ago, I, had, I just went off air. You know, I said, Dave and I just come in here and take over. Because this same feeling hit me uh, of, of like waiting for something. It's like a computer waiting for the answer. And the machines are spinning. It's like in that movie, The Imitation Game, and they're waiting for the computer to give the answer and to see if it works for weeks. And that's what I feel like. All this news, all this data, all the things the enemy's doing, all the globalist operations, how they how they set up like perpetual motion machines, these programs, these wars of evil, these drug wars, uh, uh, war on illiteracy, war on mental illness, it all just makes it worse how they set up these centralized systems, and I can see the systems. I know how their systems operate. I can go read books written by globalists 20 years ago, and they're writing things that I'd already totally understood just seeing their operation, but then I'm reading them, laying it out, and then they actually did it. I can see the code, basically, of their operations everywhere. It's not hard. It's, 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 it's once you know their program, it's almost like matrix code. You can see their philosophies, how they operate. It's like if you study criminology and you learn how different criminal groups operate, they'll have a modus operandi. They'll, they'll, they'll have a system. They'll have a philosophy. They'll have a culture. And for 20 plus years, I've been immersed in the globalist culture, really watching them, really learning who they are. And man, I'm telling you folks, the actress that came out and played uh, the uh, queen, you know, the queen m m movie that came out a few years ago, she's in the news saying that, that the royals are aliens. Uh, that's in the news. And I don't think they're aliens, folks, but they might as well be. And I, I just have come to that hard realization that these people, it's not like we're a pig in the backyard that they're going to slaughter for Christmas. And you're kind of sorry for the pig and give it a nice meal the day before you slit its throat. It's that they enjoy hauling us up by our trotters and slitting our throat. I mean, they really want to hurt us. I mean, they are too, boy. Actresses, royals, or aliens. The world they live in is so beyond our understanding. London Independent. Helen Mirren. Everybody that gets around these people, that's what they say. By the way, you know this top reporter that just died at 50-something years of age? Yeah, he talked to Snowden and then he dropped dead. And by the way, it was obvious they killed that guy who was about to give testimony that would bring down the Argentinian president. So uh, now she's been charged in a cover-up. Former first lady turned president. And people say, oh, no, nobody killed the investigator. Of course they killed him. David Carr, Times critic and champion of media, dies at 58. After talking to Snowden. That article's up on Infowars.com. What I'm saying is I get lost in all this minutia, but then I get to the point where I could do a really interesting radio show right now off each of these articles and tie it into things and, you know, it'd be informative, but that's not going to win the war. We've got to somehow get people out of their comfort zones to pull back and realize your life's being programmed for you. 
you're having your free will taken. And a lot of people that have already had their free will partially taken, they are slaves. They are zombies. They're not people. And the globalists have these weird metaphysical rules. They've got to get you to turn your soul over and turn your free will over. And then, then they can kill you. I was trying to think of the word, epic. Life is epic. The mystery of this planet and where we came from and everything around us, it's epic. The fact that men and women can come together and make a new creature and that humans can experience life and love, art and literature and all the passions and everything. And then you see the metrics out there of people unhappy and thinking the world's empty and they don't care and fantasy football and dramas is, 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 is what we think is the ultimate goal of the world. Watching other people pretend. The engineering is so pervasive. And it's not failed. It's not, it's, it's, it's by design. And the failures of the system are designed because 98% of people who work in the system, corporate, government, doesn't matter, follow their own template that they've been basically programmed with and are compartmentalized and they don't even know how things are working. So they have no hope. And even if you try to convince them of what's going on, it's so complex That's just unbelievable. That's why I couldn't even continue the radio show. It was a week or two ago. I mean, it's just... If people really want this lie... I, I mean, from 1 in 25,000 having autism to 1 in 50-something... I mean, if you really want him to kill you... And you really think this is all great... Then fine, let Satan have you. I mean, give yourself to the devil. It's happening again. The feds are trying to ban your freedom to own body armor. In January, a newly introduced bill, H.R. 378, will take away your right to buy level 3 and higher body armor. Katie Armor offers the most affordable level 3 body armor packages on the market today. Protect yourself. Buy your body armor now before it's too late. Go to katiearmor.com. That's C-A-T-I-Armor.com. Come and take it. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. This could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 we all have our own idea about what being safe and secure means. The door's locked. Bills are paid. You've got a job that keeps the lights on and a home to call your own. But what happens when Mother Nature throws a curveball? I'm telling you, just yes, take, take cover. Are you prepared to live without electricity or passable roads for weeks at a time? Do you even have a plan B? If you do... 
Are you willing to bet your life on it? Children left with no homes. And no one's coming to help them. Help them. The first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to MyPatriotSupply.com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48 states. Call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today. Or visit us at MyPatriotSupply.com. Remember, before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Here's an example. Alex Jones here back live. Of why I'm not even frustrated. I, I'm just waiting for the answer. The key. And I know there's not a silver bullet in this world, but I know one key is being excited, being passionate, and letting people know that you're really concerned. Because I don't get excited on air as an act. But we've got to imitate success. And the fact that I, from a grassroots position, have been the most successful in this planet's history of exposing the hidden global elites and combines right at the point when they are emerging, because when they finally fully take over, they have to emerge. And so they're now announcing the secret torture, uh, the forced drugging, uh, the social engineering, uh, the illegal spying, the funding of Al-Qaeda, uh, the government trafficking in narcotics, major banks laundering, hundreds of billions of dollars. I mean, all this stuff that I would get threats over. I would have Terry Reid on, who wrote Compromised, uh, Clinton Bush and the CIA. I mean, he was there. He saw the famous people at the airfield flying in the cocaine. He was a trainer for pilots. They were already pilots, but training them on how it was done. I mean, he was there, and he said, this is cocaine? That Google that compromised Clinton Bush and the CIA. I want to show people that book. I want to get him on. I keep saying get him on. I know we're trying to find his number and been contacting people. And I would get him on the show or other people. And uh, I mean, I had famous whistleblowers on. Have them on all the time. And I'd come walking out at my apartment. And uh, there'd be a car sitting there. And a guy would walk over, you know, in a suit. It'd be an FBI agent. And they'd say, how you doing, Alex? Better watch yourself. And I'd be like, who are you? You look like a Fed. And it's like, have a nice day. Or I'd be in a Target parking lot and there'd be, you, know, you could tell like special forces guys, and you're getting in your car and they walk over and go, you think you're really tough, buddy? Better watch your bleeping. And I'm like, what's going on? I go, like, oh, come on. Come on. You planning something? You planning to blow something up? Yeah. And I'm like, no. Well, you better watch it. Or I'd be the Access TV studio. I mean, I think about all this stuff, and it's just like, now, it's just, yeah, it's in Bloomberg. Wells Fargo, Warren Buffett laundered $378 billion in cocaine, heroin, and marijuana money. And it's just, so what? <laughs> they don't even, they don't, I mean, used to, they were so concerned that I would be having a guest on like that, naming names. I mean, used to, I'd talk about DynCorp running child kidnapping rings in congressional testimony, and it was even the Chicago Tribune. And I would get death threats over that. I mean, really serious ones. I would get really serious death threats. I mean, you can tell when a really serious, mean man calls you up, and there's no ID on the phone number, no numbers, no nothing. And it sounds like some guy out of a movie going, hey, how you doing, Alex? You know, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to cut your head off, blah, blah, blah. 
That's all going on out there. They don't even care now. What's going on? The president is announcing worldwide that illegals get basically free in-state tuition, you name it, free welfare, and now it's in the news that if you've been here one day, you can get a tax return, refund, free money. It's totally illegal. All of it's illegal. That's what I mean. It's crazy. It's crazy. And... It's just hundreds of things where the government just does whatever it wants, whenever it wants. I mean, Al Gore said that the North Pole and the South Pole would be completely melted by 2013. And the North Pole is 43% bigger, according to NASA satellites, and the South Pole is 20-something. They just pull it up and then show them the numbers. Uh, Boston is having record-shattering snow. Turns neighbor against neighbor. That's CBS News. And they're saying that's global warming. I mean, do you get what I'm saying here? We have complete, out of their mind, crazy criminals running the country. <sighs> And they don't get in trouble for it. I mean, everybody's mad at Brian Williams being a big fat liar. Al Gore says he invented the internet. Why hasn't Hillary stepped down from public life? She told the exact same type of lie that that creep Brian Williams told. The same ones that get up there and say, parents aren't vaccinating. It's the law. And they should be arrested. I mean, you can pull. I've seen that slack jawed, pretty boy punk. I'm just sick of dishonorable trash. I'm sick of people enjoying selling people out and preying on people. Let me tell you what I'm really tired of. I'm tired of the good men out there doing nothing. What are you doing to fight these people? Get out there, take action. Because I'm telling you, it's all coming to the head. If we're putting up with all this now, imagine what's coming next. I'm gonna cover a bunch of news, a bunch of clips, stay with us. We're on the march, the empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 the government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? 
Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. It's Alex Jones. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. You have to be that standard in your area. You're not going to find in the big establishment churches any fight against tyranny. The major denominations have been captured. And are now engines of tyranny. Every basic freedom, every basic checks and balance is being annihilated. <clears throat> the announcements are being made of the federalization of your private 401ks. It's all beginning. The moves are being made. The decisions have been made to engage in a totalitarian, authoritarian command and control, centralized, global computer monitored, surveilled, directed, panopticonic system designed to destroy the souls of men. Our world is captured. Our planet is in the hands of the devil. God help us. All these Pharisees will get mad if you listen to rock and roll music, but they're not mad at the abortuary down the street it's cutting up babies right now. Or they're mad at some veteran because they've got tattoos all over them. You can point at them, look at that tattoos all over that veteran. While meanwhile, you're doing nothing to warn people about vaccines. You're probably taking them. I'm talking about establishment type people. All these facts are there that the vaccines are just one example of a forced criminal annihilation of our people. With the UN and other groups caught tainting vaccines all over the world to kill people, sterilize them, you name it. Let me tell you what they do in countries like Syria, where they've got captured areas of the country and send in the multinational UN force, they don't give you shots that just make one out of 54 kids or 55 kids mentally retarded. They give them shots that kill a large number of people. That was in the news just two weeks ago. In Africa, they tell the local town, yeah, you get a million dollars in aid if you forcibly vaccinate everybody on your census roll, and they go out and they show up these villages in India and Africa and other areas at night. This is all over the news. And they come in with gunpoint and shoot everybody up. And then every woman who's pregnant has a miscarriage. I've got the news reports. Every woman within two days. I see the woman interviewed in Indonesia and, and, and Chad and Africa. And they go, the baby was moving. And the next day, baby quit moving in my tummy. And two days later, the baby come out. And the, the, uh, the only woman who keep baby run to woods. And she, they come back and take her to government clinic. And baby, she lose baby. I mean, are we just going to let them murder us, these bastards? I can't take it anymore. It's a load of, I mean, I'm sick of it. And I'm, I'm not above it. It's like I'm without it. And it's like I'm outside of it now. I mean, they all run in here and they go, let's go make fun of these communists. They're going to have an InfoWars magazine burning party. And now these communist sites, them with red flags and how they're going to 
you know, protest. It should be fun to go protest a bunch of communists and, I mean, show them protesting and burning books. But I don't even want to be around them. I mean, it's just... We're dealing with a scientific takeover that, again, might as well be space aliens. It's so sophisticated and evil. And I'm not going to go be around a bunch of slack-jawed morons with red flags. You want to burn b b magazines? Just knock yourselves out, man. Because I'll be honest with you. I've had communists get in my face plenty of times, and I can't put up with it anymore. Okay? I cannot put up with idiots anymore. I cannot put up with stupid people that have no idea how much trouble we're in and follow some Rockefeller programmed communist thing because you think red stars look cool and uh, rage against the machine. <sighs> I got all this news. I need to get to it. I can just see all the programming. That's why. That's why I, I, I just. They're all victims. Out of control, power tripping cops. Just. They've had their souls sucked out. I mean, it's, just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a zombie. All these control freak trendies on the streets, zombies. Uh, anybody with this system, they're, just, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. That's not creepy and dystopic, free vaccines at McDonald's. Thousands of studies, 25 of them looked at by Harvard, confirming massive IQ reduction when you drink hydrofluorosilicic acid or fluoride in your water. That's a fact, Jack. And by the way, they brag and write books about why they put it in the water so they can sit there and look down their fake intellectual predatory noses and just laugh at you when they walk through airports or see you on the street. They're just surveying you, what they've done with the GMO, what they've done with the vaccines. It's all a big sick joke. And then they have the hollerith Watson computers on the death list for the troops now. Who could make that up? The I mean, this is just too much. And what don't we know about? Who do they have working in these corporations and these governments? How do people sit there at the Monsanto genetic engineering facilities? This is CBC, you name it. This is confirmed. First time it was out was 15 years ago. Another report two years ago. They were asking, they, they have all organic at the Monsanto facilities. With geneticists and people getting paid a million dollars a year, some of them. You, 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 and when you go look at who these eugenicists are, they're all eugenicists, folks. Dr. Pianca at UT, the FBI actually did something good in that case. I was reading his quotes and showed his UT website where he talks about Lucifer and he's in a white robe and says he's a druid. And uh, he heads up a, de a department at the time in biology. Who can make that up? And he's saying, soon the airborne Ebola will be released and we'll all be dead. And, and he goes to England and everyone gets these awards and standing ovations. So I said, this guy needs to be investigated. That's who you investigate. And then the FBI did go talk to him. I don't know why I went off on that story. Oh, yeah. And then we started getting threatened. And this woman was sending us threats and saying, don't talk bad about him. And, you know, all this. It was several of his graduate students, two of them were women. It was, it was like a little campaign. And I went and looked up one of these women. And it was her now as a microbiology doctor working at a facility. And I looked up the grant and what work they were doing. And it was all this recombinant RNA, DNA splicing connected into weapons development. And there she was in that white lab coat, a doctor now. And she sent us this letter going, Dr. Pianca is actually... Not hardcore enough. He believes only 90% should die. Who could disagree we're a disease, that we're a cancer, and that all humans must be killed? I mean, these are flaming cult members, folks. I'm not crazy. They are. They're dangerous. I see humans and love them. They see humans and hate them. Well, I got news for you. I know you want to be the good stewards and get rid of us first, and then, and then you'll off yourself later. Bull. 
you have a heart after your father and you love hurting people and you love cornering people. You just do it with the establishment on a big scale where you're run of the mill person like Ted Bundy or John Wayne Gacy or Jeffrey Dahmer goes out and grabs little kids off the street or young women. And then they use them up for weeks down in a pit. And they, they, the psychopaths, I've had the top psychologists, psychiatrists, I'm talking about, they, they say they're in these dark, horrible worlds. It's always associated with the occult. And they don't feel like they're alive until they're torturing someone. And then they, they torture the children until they, quote, use them up. And they can't terrify them or, or, or torture them anymore. And then they finally chop them up. And they love the smell of rotting meat. I mean, who are these people? They're like an interdimensional plague of, 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 of psychic parasites. I, I don't know what it is. But I'm telling you this. These people have to be dealt with. And in my spirit, I absolutely, not in a hateful way, but in the way you, Lance Boyle, want to go after them and they want us to do it violently because they think they can dumb that down and control that paradigm. They don't want it to be a spiritual, cultural change of awareness and just see these people and go, whoa, because we've been so long slowly indoctrinated into all this, slowly put into all this, and marinated in it so long that we've become super accepting of just over-the-top garbage. I mean, I didn't believe people when they told me that like half the BBC were pedophiles and they were taking kids to the royal family and they were naming names and this prime minister would slit little girls' throats in his office and they put plastic down on the floor and they'd go have sex with the dead kids here and they'd do this and that and, 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 and I would be like, delay, 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 delay. When people like David Icke was on like 15 years ago naming names, I was, because, you know, I can't, someone, it's just out outrageous to say, you know, that somebody's a pedophile, bring them to the royals, and then it all comes out they are. And I'd get on the break and tell David, David, I'm sorry, do not name names when you're saying this. And then I think, my God, what else is he right about? I mean, it, it's just, it's just so over the top, man. Weirdo disc jockeys bringing little kids to the royal family? Who can come up with stuff like this? Who are these people? And why do we put up with them? And then there's the epic thought. <sighs> why me? Why am I on air fighting with these people? Where are the other men? They're smarter, better looking men than me. Who are more eloquent. What's your problem? Oh, well, this is too much. You see, see, so there's the argument of, hey, scale it down. People might wake up if you give them little baby steps. Maybe that works with some people. I found all that works is just slapping somebody upside the head with the full tidal wave of evil. Or as much as you can warn and just go, hey, you know this is going on in your gut. And that's why people will buck up and say, I don't want to hear it. That's crazy. Because deep down, they know they've all got a spider sense. They've all got a sixth sense. They've all got a subconscious mind that knows all this stuff. They've been preparing people with subliminals. I showed Comedy Central doing it to us today. Admitted subliminal. They've been doing this to get people ready, and I'm picking up on the overt subliminal, the sub-subliminal. These are just terms I'm coming up with. There's different types of them. And, man, I just don't want to wake up and they've nuked a bunch of cities. I mean, there's just no telling what these people will do. I mean, I... They're, they're just so evil, is what I'm telling you. We're all in grave danger. And I've gone past getting chills and my hair standing up when I talk about these people now, and it's gone past that. Now it's just, it's not even, I can't describe the emotion. It's beyond being stunned. It's just, What? It's like a they live where he, Rowdy Piper puts the glasses on and he goes, it figures it'd be something like this. And he starts laughing because it's just so over the top. It's just like, what? And, and I've got to convince, and then all these people on Comedy Central, CNN, all these things, I mean, they listen to the show, they watch the show. I don't think I've run into, and I'm not bragging, I'm saying the effect we've had, like sonar, the ping we're getting. I, I don't think I've run into or met a major celebrity that doesn't listen to the show. Almost all of them are listeners.
You think they like being left or right and on little controlled reservations and not being able to politically speak out? So they're all intimidated, won't speak out. So it's this paradox where there's a huge amount of people that are awake. And then there's people that aren't awake. But of the people that are awake, most of them are scared to speak out. And I think it's because they're all doing what I'm doing. They're looking for the silver bullet. They're looking for the lever. They're looking for the way. Well, it, it, it's already there. It's inside us. We have to make the fundamental decision to break with the establishment at a spiritual level and to break with these phony churches and to break with the Pharisees who've got giant lumber yards in their eyes while they tell us what to do from a holier-than-thou lecturing Jezebelian spirit. And we have to start really focusing on what are we doing every day to change our lives, to do the right thing, to stand up against corruption, to reach out to people that are doing good, to support each other. <sighs> because we're in a 21st century war. And the nasty technocrats and the PR firms and the media horse, the deceivers, the Decepticons, that that are in these positions, I mean, you people all know you're helping bring in the fall of civilization. You all know that you are destroying your family's future. And most of them will say, yeah, I do know that, but I got to make as much money as I can now. As we're maneuvered towards global collapse with two quadrillion in derivatives, many times all the wealth in the world, designed to bring us into a global collapse global depression, and the answer will be a global, standardized, computerized world government with world IDs and world chips to buy and sell so that everything can be integrated and safe and fun and wonderful. And then it's really about social compliance to medically make everybody take the so-called vaccines that are really just behavioral modifying nanotech now. I mean, that's what these design viruses are. They're not viruses. They're, they're completely artificial. I mean, it's so science fiction that like 15 years ago, they had anti-stress vaccines they were testing, and then now they give them to the troops, and they usually go commit suicide a month later. And they give them a vaccine that viruses go and attack and eat areas of your brain associated with spiritual experiences, joy, anguish, the real center of humanity, the real high points what it's all about, the state I live in constantly. And now Bill Gates says, we're going to put it in the food. We're going to put it in the air. We're going to have nanobots. This where you're going to give you as you can read the literature. That's their end game, folks. The end of free will. Where you get one of these vaccines or it's in one of these GMO bananas where, where pharmacological crops where it grows it in the banana. You eat it. You get sick. For two days, you get out of bed, and you're just not a person anymore. You just don't have, it's like a lobotomy. You just don't have that connection to your spirit anymore. But let me tell you, you can't get our spirit, Bill Gates. So even if you do that, even if you lobotomize me or anybody else, as long as our spirits were lined up with God, go straight there and out of your hands. And that's the true salvation, and that's the ultimate victory, and you'll be with all your damn demons. Alan Jonathan. John Steinbeck of Mice and Men, the best laid plans of Mice and Men often go awry. You look at all these elitists throughout history that think they're invincible, and then what do they do? 20 plus million Russians died, 20 plus million Germans died in World War II. Only 400 and something thousand Americans. That's still a huge loss. Think about that. All because our government helped put Lenin in power. Our government with the British helped put Hitler in power. That's, that's all in mainline history books. You don't really see it on Discovery Channel or History Channel, but it's, it's there. IBM completely backed him, and now they run killing our troops. I just can't make this stuff up. Just, just, you just can't make this stuff up. And there's just thousands of things. It's just over the top.
And at a primitive level, I don't like it. I don't like seeing humanity getting screwed over. I don't like seeing bad people winning. I don't like seeing this. And then I realize it is animated by evil. I mean, there's, there's something above it. I don't care if you're an agnostic Christian. You, you better recognize that. It's bad. It's low down. And all you people laughing and giggling like Gruber and, 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 and the stupid anchor Brian Williams and all the rest of them, don't you get there's a special place reserved in a tyranny? Not in hell. Oh, that too. There's a special place reserved now for people like you. You think it's funny? You think it's funny? You're going to find out. The problem is I take no pleasure in knowing how you'll be judged. I mean, I think about how bad a person I am just for my thoughts and the, and the way I am and everything. And then I think about you people that don't even care and you think it's all cute. You have been turned over completely to the God of this world. And that's no God at all. God is a builder, and we were made in God's image to be builders and creators, and we've done incredible things. And I'm not going to sit here and hear a bunch of parasites telling us that we're crap. Not going to do it. And it is the belief that human life is precious, and that human life is amazing, and that human life is made in the image of a master creator. Even if you idiot atheists don't believe that, have you seen the spaceships and all this stuff? We're on a planet. I mean, we're pretty darn cool. If we try to be honorable, if we honor innovation and, 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 and a fair shake. What I'm trying to get at here is that the evil is not invincible and all their plans are not going to go the way they think they are. And every device they've designed to use against us in the final Testament is only a test for us on this planet in these earth suits that are our bodies. And the realization that you have a soul, so they tell you you don't have one, bunch of liars. That's all they do is lie, folks. You got a soul, it'll go on forever. Don't let them get it. And you got to admit the system, you got to admit the New World Order to really get yourself in that clear position of understanding. ACN. If you won't do that, Communications, radio you can't network. break free of their control. See you this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. live. What disaster is so powerful? It unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots, all at the same time. NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA Director James Woolsey says two-thirds of U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst-case scenario unravels. That's D-A-R-K-E-S-T-D-A-Y-S dot I-N-F-O. Darkestdays.info. Go there before this life-saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show.